We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this procedure. We're going to work with electrical components, so we need to be familiar with wire strippers. There are three main parts of the wire stripper that we must be aware of. There are the stripping jaws, the pinching point, and the wire cutter. The stripping jaws are used to strip the wire. The pinching point is where we have to make sure that our fingers and hands are clear of the area as we use the stripper. At the sharp wire cutting part, we must be careful around it, as it can cut us easily. Don't test how sharp it is. There are different sizes of wire strippers that are appropriate for different sizes and gauges of wiring. You can review a chart to see what kinds of wire are able to handle different loads conducting electricity safely. There are special indicators on most wire cutters and strippers to indicate gauge size and recommend stripping jaw size. You can tell if a wire is solid or strand by how it responds when you bend it. If it returns to shape after you bend it, it's likely a strand. If it's solid, it stays bent. There are different gauges of wire sizing. Sometimes you use different electrical connectors rather than crimp pins. When you cut, the pieces of copper wire or plastic covering from the wire can be sorted to the right kind of recycling. The copper wire goes in the scrap metal recycling bin. The plastic covering of the wire can be disposed of in the garbage or plastic recycling. Let's get ready for stripping and crimping some wires. By the way, always know where the first aid kit is located in the room or in the main office, just in case we do have an accident. When doing wire crimping and stripping, we wear safety glasses in case the cut portions come off suddenly and fly in your face. Here is some 22 gauge wire. Look at the wire stripper to use the 22 gauge slot on the wire stripping jaws. Measure or estimate the wire to be about six millimeters past the wire stripping jaws. You need about that amount because that is how much of the plastic sleeve has to be removed from the wire so the pin will crimp properly to the wire. Make sure your fingers and hands are clear of the cutting blade and pinching point of the wire stripper. Now gently squeeze the stripper and pull down and away from yourself. This will remove the plastic sheathing from the wire. Choose the right kind of pin or wiring connection for what you are working with. When you are crimping, remember there is a pinch point. To insert this crimp pin onto the teeth, the back of the crimp pin should be lined up with the plastic sheathing of the wire. Also, the end of the wire should be pushed into a crimp pin as far as possible to make sure that a solid connection is made. Remember, when you use the crimping tool, you must be aware of the pinching point here. Once the crimp pin is aligned, the legs of the crimp pin will grab onto the plastic sheathing of the pin, and you can insert the pin with the wire into the crimper. Gently squeeze the crimping tool and the wire of the crimp pin will grab onto the plastic sheathing of the wire. All you need to do is remove the crimp pin, rotate it 90 degrees, and repeat the crimping process. Inspect the crimp. Take the pin out from the tool and make sure that the pin's legs are crimped into a circular fashion. The legs must be circular for the pin to be inserted into any type of connector. If the end of the crimp pin is not circular, repeat the crimping process by putting the pin back into the tool, crimping and rotating 90 degrees until you have a circular crimp. Test the crimp. You can test the crimp pin by holding onto the wire and gently pulling on the pin. If the pin does not come away from the wire, then the crimp was successful. Take a quick look around your work area to make sure that you did not leave any cut copper wire or plastic sheathing on the floor. Let's do a tool safe review. Review the hazard pinch points of the wire cutter stripper. Make sure you are using the right tool for the gauge of wire you have to cut and use. Have all your connectors handy. Clean up your workspace, especially the little bits, and recycle wire into the metal recycling container. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.